Simpson. Kaylin Kai Wong. Thomas Fu. I'm Annie Ma. Hi, I'm Ryan Warrington. I'm Sarah Kim. My name is Daniel Park. I'm Vika. I'm Krish Mehta. My name is Sarah. My name is Edward Lim. My name is Bohan. Oh, Wong. Brian Joe. My name is Caroline, and today is the Lunar New Year. I was born in Seoul, South Korea, and then I moved to the U.S. Um, in second grade. I was born in Vietnam, but I'm ethnically Chinese. My mom is Chinese and she grew up in Vietnam. I'm half Chinese on my mom's side. She came from Xi'an. I was born in Canada, but my parents are from China. I was born in North Carolina, but both my parents are from Taiwan. Both of my parents are from China. I am Han Chinese. I am a Chinese American. 100% Korean. My parents are uh, both from Korea and all their ancestors are from Korea as well. Both of my parents are from China, specifically Beijing. I am Chinese. My mom is Indonesian born Chinese. My family is from Shanghai. Basically, we're called Han people for ethnicity. What was your generation of immigration? I am first generation. First generation. Second generation. First generation. First generation, and I'm a second generation. First generation Korean immigrant. Um, all my family are first generation Korean immigrants. How do you and your family celebrate Lunar New Year? Every year my mom throws a party with about 200 people at her house and we set off fireworks and eat dumplings. We hand make all the dumplings. At home we like make dumplings and noodles. Obviously, you know, each family have dinner or lunch, but they got like a big feast if, you think, if they could afford it. Lunar New Year is pretty special for us because it's a celebration where uh, we kind of reflect on the year and we celebrate like our family. For me and my family, it's slightly smaller because our extended family all lives in South Korea and the distance is pretty far. Well, we don't really celebrate it like we used to when we lived in Korea, but um, my mom still makes like Tteokguk, which is like a uh, soup with like rice cakes and egg and like green onion. Basically a white broth with uh, white rice cakes in it and it's kind of beginning the new year with like a fresh and clean body. Something that you eat um, on Lunar New Year but also on like January 1st. Beyond that, um, I don't speak Korean to my family. They speak Korean to me and I understand and um, that's usually how the celebration goes. It's not as big for my family as it is for others, but we do kind of begin the new year from the state. We usually have like a party where like a bunch of people come over and then they all bring food so we don't have to cook. But we still cook, but like not all of it. And, all, and they all bring food and then we all have fun. When it's Chinese New Year, um, we call my grandparents and my um, other relatives who are still in China and like we wish them happy new year there's this tradition with like the red envelopes and with money or like chocolate in them and then um i ask i bid my parents like happy new year and then like in exchange for that they give me these like red envelopes in america people get presents for their birthday you don't get presents on your birthday you get everything is weighted into the new year so i get an, a red envelope with money in it that I can spend wherever I want as a kid, and then we get a new set of clothing. We mainly like to just keep the house really clean um, so that we wash all the negative stuff away from the old year and then start the new year with new stuff, some new clothes. And then we, then after that we do, you know, there's celebration by going to watching. So in Vietnam there's a lot of, um, you call it companies. And what they do is they do lion dances and dragon dance and they compete with other companies um, during the first and second, third and fourth, fifth and sixth day of the Chinese Lunar New Year. And so we, as a kid, we just roam and follow those companies and watch them compete with other companies for money. We usually like FaceTime our relatives in China and sometimes we eat dinner as a family and my mom cooks for all of us. My family and I, we normally eat a lot of food, for example, nian gao, which is a sticky rice cake. And the meaning of it is nian is like year, and then gao is going higher, so every year you're getting higher and higher. And then we also eat fish and dumplings because they symbolize abundance, and dumplings look like silver ingots, so it's like you have a lot of wealth. And then 
every year my grandparents also give us hong ball which are these money that's in like a red paper bag and then you'll say thank you to them and wish them happy new year and then they'll give you the hong ball getting together with other family friends who happen to be chinese as well and we all just bring food and eat and have fun yeah my parents and my family usually go to a restaurant or we hook, cook hot pot at home but this time we're probably just gonna cook hot pot and then I think another thing that we do is call our all our family since we're the only ones in the US, in China, and just wish them Happy New Year. We typically hand make wontons and eat hot pot. And it's a family tradition we've had for many years. Well, we have a lot of red because red is the lucky color in China. So you wear red and then you hang a lot of red around your house. And you also have these money bags, which are red because luck. And these usually, they symbolize prosperity and luck and you get them from your parents or your other relatives. We also eat dumplings and um, I think they're called rice balls. They're called tang yuan in Chinese, but they're kind of like little mochis with um, fillings inside. And we eat those, like the dumplings and the tang yuan, usually at midnight to celebrate moving into the new year. During the Lunar New Year, we always go to our grandparents' house on our dad's side uh, to wish them a happy Lunar New Year. Uh, and there's always this tradition that we always do uh, in front of our grandparents' parents uh, where we wish them a happy New Year and they tell us uh, just a few comments on like what they think we should do to help achieve like a happy, a true happy New Year. Most of the time we make dumplings for, like from scratch. Our parents uh, give like me and my brothers home ball, which are like the red envelopes with money in them. <laughs> Yeah. With real money? Yeah. Wow. So are there any special phrases that you say in your language during Lunar New Year? Um, so the basic one is Gongxi Fa Tai, which is just like Happy New Year. Which is um not it's not Happy New Year, but it means um like I hope you have a lot of good luck um for the coming year. Xing Yan Kwai Le. Which is like, I hope you have good health and live a really long time. For like Happy New Year, we say for the red envelopes, like uh, you say, uh, 新年快乐. 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 新年快乐.